So here, right, what we're doing is data entry. So I've got this order table and we want to put in customer segments and provinces. And we've got a particular list that we're allowed to pick from. So this is very much a job for data validation lists. OK, so I'll show you how you can set these up very quickly. So go to uh, the data menu on the ribbon, data validation. Now, on here, you've got the settings. It says at the moment any value. In other words, it's just no data validation. We're going to pick a list. And then it says here source. So the source of the list for the customer segment is this. All right. Now, it's automatically put all the uh, dollar signs around. So it's fixed that list. You click OK. And then you have your list working. Dead, dead simple. Now. You can set it up all at once, for example, by doing that. Hit the same thing. Um, list, source, there. OK. And you can also, for example, just copy and paste data validation if you do a paste special. And then you can click on validation and hit OK. And that will also copy just the validation criteria. So that's that set up there. Now you can also hit Alt and the down arrow um, and the Enter key, which can sometimes be a lot faster, which is also quite useful. It's not obvious when you look at a cell that it's got data validation on it. It's not until you actually click in it or you select it that you'll get the actual arrow. And if you start typing, so say, um, customer segment I call you know if I type Excel for example you get this sort of uh, value doesn't match you can cancel that and then it will just wipe what you've typed which is kind of can be annoying because if somebody spells something wrong I mean it's going to guess on that one actually but if I went up here and typed in uh, home office now it's still guessing actually let's just get rid of those so if I go up here, for example, and try and type home office and say I spell it wrong, it says, oh, um, retry, you know, uh, OK, cancel, and it deletes it. Kind of frustrating. You need to know that there's a list on there. So you can actually remove these error messages by clicking on there. OK, and that way then if I spell something incorrectly, I'll just let it go. So that, that's your two options, really. Uh, I don't think that's particularly great. If you really, if you're going to use data validation, <laughs> you, you're using it for a reason. You want to validate it. So if we did a warning, for example, instead, we could put a message in if we wanted to. So if I go in and do that, now just get a warning saying, do we want to continue? We can continue and accept that invalid data. Data validation, definitely the way to go if you want a list and you're doing data entry. Really, really simple, easy to set up, great for sort of data entry and things like that. But they don't really look like drop down lists. So if you're trying to create some kind of dashboard or something, probably not where you want to go. Hope that was useful. You know, good luck building your spreadsheets with the drop down lists.